Welcome Disc Golf World to the 2021 Veterans Park Open presented by Mint Disc and Kratom. Filmed by your boys at GK Productions. My name is Greg Barsby alongside Luke Humphreys. What's up, Luke? Nada, nada, man. We are back in Arlington, Texas. This is over 20 times the Veterans Park Open has been contested. Ken Climo, Barry Schultz have been here. Today we've got you on the card along with Emerson and Trent Hathaway, who is the club champ. And you. I am, yes. You're well. the 2019 19 champion. And you're the 2020 champion. Then we got the 2018 champion, Emerson Keithon. Was it 18 or 17 he won? I'm not even sure. I think it was 18. Someone fact check that for us. Leave Please. A, leave, a, leave a comment. Yeah, that'd be great. And I know that he made some crazy eagle. Yeah, he went beat to, eagle or something. Yes, birdie, birdie, eagle, ace. I was there for it. It was what? absurd. Yes. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. All right, so hold on. Let's, let's just get right into it. We've been waiting all day. Just past one o'clock, and this is why you come to Texas to play disc golf in November. Perfect day for golf. Just a little bit of wind out here. Yeah, it was gorgeous. What are you going with here? This is a Scorpius. A little bit of a headwind, just tried to stand it up. Yeah, I liked what you did. It was a stable disc you went with. You don't need to be that close to the trees. It's a, it's a fairly easy placement today. The softest hole on the course, I think. There's a lot of room on the left. Now M Dog coming up next. We may have just been fact checked right there. I think he did say 2018. There you go. Champ. I think Eagle won 2017. But the, I could be wrong as well. Lots of fact checks, please. <laughs> Emerson, this is a rive. And he's not messing with the out of bounds. Those white flags obviously denote that. That's a clean shot, especially down the hill, to be able to have the control to turn it like that. Yeah. Well played from Emerson. Mm-hmm. Here we go. What are you throwing here? Stable. I liked what you did. I'm not even going to give it any turn. I'm just looking to throw this thing flat along the OB line. Get myself down there. Dipped in the OB a little bit. Just like you drew it up. That's right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, I'll take it. Easy chip up for the three there. Yeah, right by you guys. What it should be. Yep. Yeah. Today in the pin placement that we have here, it's the only time we'll play this short placement. And it's a, a really easy hole. Trent's a local and he won the club championship. Getting his spot on lead card here. Oh, that one just popped over on him. Yeah, late release on that. You can see the you can see the stuff moving down there. I think the wind kicked up on him maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's a big moment for him too. He popped that one over. I'm sure he was thinking, boy, I could have just chipped one in the fairway. Yeah. Been yeah. fine, but totally. This is a good looking approach. Oh, catches that tree there. He'll have a obstructed putt, probably mm -hmm. from circle's edge. Mm hmm Yeah, that's right about it. It's a judge from Emerson. Excuse me, heart. That's well done. The ground around this basket, very fast. You get some slides, some skip really easy here. They say this course is like Mars in June, July, August, September. It basically is. The <laughs> surface <laughs> it's like a different it radiates up off the ground. You're getting the heat coming and going. There's a reason why this tournament is in November. No doubt. No doubt. So you guys both do the flick. You're going to do the, the same. I'm just I'm gonna like, oh, the, the flick's the play. Dude, I love that shot from you. Little nose up, just a little floaty. You can bring it in softer than we can playing that pure hyzer skip. Yeah, it's a little straighter disc. I just make sure I get enough spin on it to push it straight. Not a bad bid from Trent. Right over the top. It's unfortunate. He's still out. I think Emerson's going to go ahead, but... He's got a bogey putt now on a hole that's a, like the easiest birdie of the day. Yeah, if you don't hit that drive, this all of a sudden this hole becomes kind of a monster. So you've got to work it into this into this green, and it, it is tucked in here. Yeah, and tomorrow we're going to tee off 50 feet back, and the basket's going to be like another 70 feet into the woods, so it becomes a way harder hole. 
defense in for his bogey. Not the way he wanted to start. Easy little tap in for you. Nice. It's a good three. It's the way you want to start. Yeah, I'll take it. Same for you. So what model sunglasses are those? I know you rock. You've got a, a fat assortment of glasses. I've got so many pit vipers, I can't even yeah. tell you. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> got so those many. are looking clean. That's basically what I was getting to. I love the whites. Yeah. They just keep rocking them. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Straight down the pipe here on hole two. That's it. 334. Thinking this is just your great fairway driver range. Mm. Make sure nothing gets off the line. Yeah. Smooth angle. Playing the old 10-time champ eagle. This is a pre-CE champ eagle, and it's still got stability. I knew it was good out of the hand. That I, was a clean shot. I haven't worked that one in as much yeah, yet. But still had the finish. It's a nice disc. Emerson looks like he's going with the mid-range here. Little tight, decent bounce. It is. He's gonna have a. He's gonna have a look. Maybe just a little outside, a little outside the circle. And what are you playing here? This is an M two. Yeah, seven fifty M two. Looking to hit this thing, flip to flat, and I kind of just missed that angle. Little tight. Oh, but that tree was like, hey, circle's edge is not good enough for you. Nice little kiss to the pin. Yeah, I'll take that. Especially on yeah, the second hole. Yeah, that's a hole. tap in. Yeah. You can barely have to putt that one in. Like right away, I've gotten away with one to a degree, so kind of feeling. It's a good day. Yeah. Whatever Tr else happens would Tr be good. Trying a little low there. I mean, another two feet on this shot. and He's played this one so many times. He knows that if he gets over that, it'll just funnel to the pin. So dry on this shot. Yeah. Putt with a P2. Oh, that looked so good. Walking it in. Good looking putt from 60. Yeah, it's a little chilly still. It's warming up, though, as the holes progress. I mean, I think it started the day about 45 degrees. So. Emerson, from a spot you were pretty familiar with. Yep. You, you won the VPO in a playoff from a similar spot. Right around there. Yeah. Emerson, a little high out of his hand. I wasn't super happy with that putt, but it's the first one of the day where I really had to think. Yeah, totally. It was nice to see it go in. Yep. That nose down putt that you have, it's going to pay off in situations like that. Yeah, easy birdie for you. That's a nice tap in from 12 feet. <laughs> Dude, I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those holes. There's about six holes on this course that I feel like you got to get them. Mm -hmm. Well, two is certainly one of them. For sure. Your competition's picking them up. Interesting enough, going into hole three, which is one of the toughest holes to get on the course. Yeah. Measures in just under 400 feet, but the angle off the tee is really tough. You've got to bring it really tight to these trees. You can't have it flip up very much. And you've got to get a lot of glide out of a hyzer, a hyzer flip to flat. You just don't want it to flip over. Really, really tough birdie, and I would say... Uh, Score separation hole, without yeah. a doubt. Yeah, for sure. It's a technical power shot. And this is just too wide out of my hand. It's like, tough to throw it along that tree line right off the bat. I mean, it's out of bounds, so you're, you're just losing on the hole right away. This is a hole you need 400-foot hyzer distance. I think a lot of the guys on tour eat this hole up, but the way that the hole is positioned, now that's a good-looking shot. That's about as tight as you want to take it. A little bit of ground play out of it. Yeah. Could have used some more hyzer. That thing did flip to flat. Yeah, a little higher. A little higher, too. Would have got some glide out exactly. of it. Exactly. Emerson, he's playing his... Um, as a ballista pro. That's that shimmer. Or yeah. It's, it's like the sparkly disc. He throws. Mm -hmm. it always does really good for him. He's got two different ones, different stabilities, actually. He's got an understable one and a stable one that he'll throw. I don't know the difference. They look the same, so. 
Trent yeah. hammers this flat at the OB line, but drifts back in. I feel like they, there's been a more penalizing OB line in years past for that shot. It is a bit forgiving this year. They can hang it out there a long ways to the right. And that's a shank. Didn't expect it from you. That's the distance you typically are really good at even bid the basket from. I was not happy with that shot. <laughs> it's tough to commentate when you're played. You would throw a really bad <laughs> one. But Trent plays it in nice, but catches the mm. tree. And the tough part is you almost have to pretend like those trees aren't there and just throw the shot like it's in the wide open. Totally. You're giving this a little step bid. Yeah, I didn't want to mess with it from that angle. That's parked. Last thing I want to do is leave myself an outside circle bid for par. Three here is the number. I'm not sure how many people got this hole today. Dude, we only actually had one get it. One player? His name is Emerson Keith with the putt. That's such a dirty putt. Ow. Nasty. Anheuser the whole way. Just getting flat when it hit the basket. So he told me, oh my after he gosh. let this go, he said, just don't hit the band. Please don't hit the band. And here we are oh. two inches below the band. Oh. That's so good. Only birdie of the day. Love it. Holds up the hand. He knows that's special, especially after missing the last one, which is kind of a must get. Totally. Brings him back up to pace. There's Trent. Hmm. That looked good. You know, I've never played with Trent, but after playing with him today, I feel like he's a really good putter. Yeah. He's a solid player. His forehand, which we haven't really seen yet, is going to display a couple times during this round. And that putt right there after the shank was super solid, man. I couldn't believe you drained it. thought I was getting one on you, honestly. I had a seam. Found a seam. That's sick. It's nice to make that pick up after him. After blowing the shot, I feel like that should have been a tap in. Yeah, that's what champions do. I saw 30 footer. Dig in. Headed to hole four. This is definitely another one that you wanted to get. Greg mentioned hole two. This is uh, right there with it. Short, you're going to see a lot of forehands by Kaisers, Greg. This is a must make birdie. It's an absolute must get. A lot of these pros are going to throw over the top on this hole. First guy's got the trickiest job. He's got to show the rest of the card. Oh, my gosh. A nice little rollback. Yeah, was something between four and five feet short. Perfect distance. He threw a stiletto? That was a pioneer. Pioneer. Yeah, it's like their uh, firebird there. FX2. This, this is my firebird. That's not where I wanted to throw it. A little low, a little wide. And those trees don't let anything through. This entire course is full of these oak trees that are basically like iron. They grab. So I'm reminded of keeping the height right after, thanks to my buddy Greg. Oh, and look at that. A little okay. flip-flop. We thought it was, it was a little closer than that. Just parks it. I'll take that. Just went boop. ba doop -ba -do. This is also a firebird. Trent. And Trent has good fundamentals all around. Yeah. We, we watch him throw. Oh, and that had a cool little action too. It mm -hmm. almost just did a little backspin. Yeah, watching right. his forehand was very impressive today. So you've got a low ceiling here. Can't go with your typical putt. You're going spin. Oh, that, that left side stick. What a great one to get on hole four. Outside the circle. Been a while since I've made a spin putt on camera. Mm. I'd look pretty decent. Ooh. I'd like to get it a little sharper than that, but that looked Dude. good, and it's in the basket. So I take it all day. Big smiles. Big smiles all day making a spin putt. That's, that's ultra bonus for me. Yeah, for sure. Got to thank Gabe for that sick slow-mo. Thank you. And GK always coming in with the good angles. They don't really have to get angles on Trent's putt, your putt, or Emerson's putt. Nope, that's an all-star. Because they were 
cumulative less feet than my putt. I mean, in, interesting factor. You brought a 10 out of 10. Quick check-in. We got local Mason Marchbanks, 6 through 12. Already got Chandler Kramer in the clubhouse at 6 under. Nolan Greider, he's a champion here, and he's 5 through 8. Can't ever think Nolan's out of this. How many has he won? I think it's three. And I think Coda's won four. Is that a fact check, Drew? Definitely needs to be fact checked. A whole five. Coda's won four? God, he's good. Yeah. A right, whole five. Little chip shot. A lot of the pros are just playing their fairway driver. Something that's overstable. Yep. What you're really trying to do is read the wind here. It's about 15 feet down the hill. Emerson still got to go first. This one dropped instead of lifting and hooking up like we thought it would. Oof. So we call Emerson the wind dummy in a situation like that. It's just unfortunate. He's been playing well, so he had to go first. It's unfortunate for him. Yeah. So you're going to make the read adjustment. It's very fortunate for a guy like me. <laughs> Throw it a little bit higher, maybe just a little tighter. A little nose up. Make sure it drops down on the green. That's solid, maybe 25 feet, a mm -hmm. little downhill. Yep. What are you playing here? I'm going with the FX2. It's a pretty stable one. Okay, nice. Got it just over the horizon. That's looking great. Yeah. Good action on the ground, too. Mm -hmm. It's a little soft right now. We've had some rain in the past week, so it's not the typical rock-hard VPO that we sometimes have. Trent stood that up a little bit. He got over on it. A good ways, and he's not happy with that shot. No. No, it's very hard to birdie from where he headed to, and he actually landed right by the next tee box. So he does have a lane. Definitely got a seam. This is a tall order from 55. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's hard a hard one to run. That's a hard make. Emerson also has a look just from the edge of a bush. He's about 45 feet away. Look at him over there. He's just... He snuck right in there, didn't he? Popping out. He actually caught something right out of the hand, but that was online. Probably would have had a chance. Now you from 25. Putting with what these days? It probably should be a little closer. This is KC AVR. It could be. A little high out of my hand. Nose down putts. Since yeah. US Open, I think I've played three rounds. Right. You been chilling in Texas? Yeah, been loving it. Yeah, just getting some downtime in at the house. A little downtime. Had my family come out, which was really fun. Nice. And my mom and dad and my sister came. Yeah. She, it's the first time she's left Maui since um, the start of the pandemic. Oh, crazy. So it's the first time on the mainland for her yeah. in, a, in a good bit. They took a road trip out. So That's special. On to hole six, 329 feet up the hill. This hole probably plays more like 375. Got a ton of these scrub oaks. Want to grab every disc that they see. It's a tough birdie. Yeah, it's it's a big forehand, and the angle you got to throw it on feels very uphill. I'm trying to stand one over and get it above those rocks. Urgh. Didn't really kick back, though. It oh, sat down. That was, a, yeah. that was a fair sit. I'll have a look from there. Mm -hmm. You're also playing the forehand here. Yeah, this is a little lightweight D1. What's the weight on it? It's 167, and I didn't hit it. And that's a tricky putt. Snuck through. Mm -hmm. Got a little lucky to, to finish up there. Probably about 40. Here's Emerson with that ballista again, that sparkly disc he has. I think that's the flippy one, and he wanted it to, to come up a little bit, but similar to my disc, because of that uphill, that back edge dragging, it just stables the disc out and moves it right. That was a tough kick off the tree, too. We got a weird rollout. He'll have like 50 feet up the hill. So I talked about Trent's forehand. Now we get to see it. Bang. 
That's great torque, Dude. and it misses every tree in the on the planet. Over the basket, I've never seen anybody thirty long on this basket. How did he miss all the branches? So here's Emerson, and it, this is way uphill. You can barely tell from that angle, but man, that's uphill, and he leaves it an inch short. Yeah, really good bid for him. Miss. So you're going step putt here. <laughs> it's all right. Good run. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny story. I, I thought I was going to work this new step putt into my game in the off season and decide to try it right there. It, uh, it's the off season. It needs a little more time. Don't forget, folks, we're in the off season. Glum. Like if we're ever going to try things. And yeah, I've tried to do that many times. <laughs> I tried to put it up the hill. It didn't work. Here's Trent with easily the best oh drive and the worst robbery. Gosh. That hurts because he's just having a tough time getting going this round. No doubt. And then after throwing such a good drive like that, I figured he was 10 feet from the pin. I thought so, too. Yeah, when I saw him walk to his disc, I couldn't believe it got that far. Caught a lot of chains on that left side. Could have stayed without a doubt. The man just needs a break. Seriously. This is a tricky basket to putt from up there, though. He had to putt down. He's got two tiers. Oh, yeah. He airballs that putt. It's 50 it's gone. feet. He's bogeying for sure. For sure. It's not the, it's not the easiest tap. Uh, on to hole seven. 360 feet. This hole is very tricky for a backhand. It's really hard to keep it left enough and get it to go straight the way that the ground slopes mm. gravity just seems to work against you i i opt for the forehand here and try to and it's flip a one huge up. forehand really got to push it out of sight you've oh, done it perfectly I, I like that oh catches something late on the way in that was that was base job i was gonna be parked i thought it might be an ace run i'm glad i saw the the footage i gotta throw it a little harder <laughs> get that in the basket next time I'm opting for it. Oh, nice little release, though. You got yeah. the stand-up, super clean, pushing the pushing the distance. Nice little bounce oh, off of the Maybe. Branch. I kind of, maybe a neutral. It's hard to say what it was going to do. I think it slowed it down. You're probably right. It slowed it down. You'll, you'll be able to find something out of there. Emerson with that shiny disc again. And it just stays a little higher than your disc. And, oh, my gosh, that's as close as I've seen a disc. Nice shot. That's – he threw that really hard. I know. I'm thinking 360 is probably not the truth. It's got to be longer. Both of you guys throw forehands. You certainly have to throw it further than 360. Yeah, yeah. Trent's not happy with that. He pulled it over. This is – it's a real easy hole to pull that shot over. You have to be really – tight highs of release and get a lot of power on it like you did to even get it up there for mm. a look. Mm. This Great Trent, shot. This Trent chips out, right? Yeah. Like just that's all you can do mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can't even do it properly. All right. So this is a crazy stance from you. Whoa. I'm interested to slow that one down and see oh what my, my footwork gosh. was. Cause I want to see if it comes up first. No, we're not going to see. It was really close. I thought you released it. Wow, dude. Dead center. I had a bad angle at that one. I didn't have either of those nice angles. GK, doing the work. Beautiful butt. Thank you, boys. <laughs> so I just drifted off outside circle, and I've got a little branch I got to throw under. So you're pulling some Kevin Jones out here. Yeah, a little air bounce kind of. A little jammy up the hill. Nice butt. Yeah, thank you. But that was hearted. Low release. Strong side. You know it's a good putt when it does a full backflip. I had to zip it. Kids, when you're at home practicing, if you get your putts to do a full backflip off the chains, that's what you want them to look like. Then you're putting like A, B, Rick. You're throwing the disc hard. When they're that clean, you putt like Jeff Lisman and get them to flip over. That's <laughs> when you know they're uber perfect. Ooh, Jeff Lisman. 
Barry Schultz. Mm. Barry's getting them to flip over. You know it's just okay. as crisp as it can possibly be. The Barry stroke is artwork. Very emulatable. Yeah. It's, it's impressive. It is. So on to hole eight. This is one of the really tough twos on the course. <sighs> this one's not... I bet you... I bet you less than 5% of the field gets this hole. I think you're right. It's uphill. You've got trees to contend with. I think the, the shot that's going to get birdies is a roller or maybe a flick. I'm going roller, and I I chopped it off just a little bit. Maybe slow that, slow it down just a touch. But I won't be able to play this hole again. We're going to the golds tomorrow. Yeah, we're going off the top of the world as they say here in Arlington. So you're playing driver here? No. Yeah. I went with that same disc that I threw. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I asked for it to hyzer a little bit. That was a tough break, though. It bounced and then hit the curb on the inside, right? Yeah, it did. It was a tough break. If there was, who can't put dirt up there? Man, that's natural washout. That's that Texas washout. Look at Emerson with the shiny disc. And it snuck through a disc-sized hole. Didn't touch anything. He's going to have a putt. Yeah, he's going to have a putt. Heiser putt around that bush. Trent opting for the roller. It's a little inside. There's some some weird ground there. Mm -hmm. your, well, your roller carried further. I think that's what you have to do on this hole if you're going roller. you got to get to the green grass or somewhere around it. Both of ours were just a little too much cut. Yeah, it's just a bad position to be in over there. I just got to pitch up and take my bogey. Yeah, took the medicine. It's Trent chips it up left. You can't really tell on the camera, but that's uphill of the basket. That should be, you know, fairly easy make from up there. Yeah. I'm going firefly, trying to drop it in. Emerson asked me if you were going to throw it in. A little long. I was like, dude, not this one. He's like, always worried about that. <laughs> He's always thinking about your throwing now, capabilities. Now, every time I've seen Emerson play this hole, he's had to contend with this bush. Yeah. It's like he has a magnet mm. to that bush. Yeah. It's a little uh, spoiler alert for skins. I don't know if I like that spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I played in that skins. I don't know if I like that. Okay, all right. <laughs> Trent, easy up and down. There you go. I got it from Emerson. <laughs> there you That's go. who I heard it from. Right on. <laughs> then when I then when I thought about it, I was like, man, he's being serious. I played like four or five rounds with the guy. He's there almost every time. Loves that bush. Last hole in the back nine, Greg. Yeah. Last hole in the front nine? The front nine, yeah. Well, we got to take a second, though, and thank Disc Barn for sponsoring this drone coverage. Guys, go check them out at discbarndg.com. Thousands of discs in stock. And great selection. Yep. What are you going with? It's a nice 2013 Firebird I got from my buddy Cliff Bryson. Mm, opaque. Just pure. Ooh, look at that. We kind of heard some wood. And that didn't look like any wood at all. <laughs> no, it really didn't. Emerson's going a little faster. I thought I got luckier than that. That was just clean as a whistle. That was just pure. Yeah. Man. Totally. You can't tell what you're doing. Emerson thinking this is good. Terrible. Smokes but the one tree you got to miss. He's so mad. Yeah. Oh, man. He is a little mad. He was not happy with that. He's like, you got to be kidding me. He needed to be a little bit farther in honesty. He kind of cut it a little tight. No, he totally blew it. <laughs> Terrible shot. I'm just playing. Emerson's awesome. It's a Firebird, a little wide out of Trent, and it kind of filters down the hill. You know, I'm surprised. I'm figuring Trent's going to pop out of this. Yeah. And here we are on hole nine, and, and he pulled a shot that he's probably executed hundreds of times. No doubt. I feel like this is good. That looks really great. But it's just barely high. Yeah, I caught the branch. Yeah. It was an ace run. Yeah, I was feeling good about it. 
couldn't believe it was high, but we'll have a chance to play this hole the next two days. So this is certainly one of the more unique holes mm -hmm. on this course, where you're throwing a hyzer, but you have no idea what's going on at the back. Like this is a perfect angle. You've got nine trees that you need to miss. Yeah, you got to get through oh. that jail. Emerson almost just jammed that sixty. Mm. Basket high. It's a good look. You're a little pulled on the ready? tree. <laughs> oh my gosh! Like you can't be mad at Luke. He he came up to me later. He's like, you know, I thought about straddling. And I was like, no, I don't need to straddle. And he pulled it like a foot. Right. Yeah. I knew I had to straddle as I walked up to the putt, and then I was like, no, I'm not gonna straddle. Luke, just just straddle it, man. Stupid you're decisions. Good, you're a good straddle putter. Speaking of a straddle putt, Emerson for par, just banging it in there. That's a nice jam. The armadillo doesn't play around from short. He makes sure they hit the chains. And his game is good from he, short. He know. hits them hard. Mm -hmm. I think that's something that's developed in the past 18 months or so. I don't think he used to be so confident in stroking like that, but he definitely does. And Now here you are to take two-stroke lead on the card. I love putts that distance. <laughs> really good. High percentage putts for Greg who's also playing a bogey-free round, as well as Emerson Keith, but you've got him by two at the moment. That's a clean front, Greg. Thanks. Yeah, it was solid. You know, try to run the ball. Three's, like, pretty ridiculous. Six is a great get, and then there's eight. So, like, you basically only missed one hole there that you, you, know, you could have gotten. That was, that was my thoughts. If I could have been at seven, that's about as good as it's going to get. The look at GT, he's at eight down. Coda's at seven. Mason's at seven. Connor's at seven. A bunch of great players and world-class players at this event. It's one thing that's awesome. You know, Texas brings it out in November. Oh. So you see Luke's beautiful kick. Oh my you've, got, you've got seven world-class golfers at any time they could play yeah. at that level. No doubt. It's pretty awesome to be out here in such beautiful weather. Gorgeous. We've got a back nine for you guys as well. Big thanks to Mitten Discs and Kratom for sponsoring this event. It's been the front nine of the 2021 VPO in Arlington, Texas. For Greg Barsby, Luke Humphreys, see you on the back nine. Yes, sir.